sunshine splashing in the right field bleachers now. The entire outfield and infield now covered in shadows as Levon Hernandez tries to close the door. Curveball strike to Jeff Blauser. And what a performance by Levon Hernandez today. That ball is outside, goes back to the screen. One ball, one strike. Blauser, then we'll see about Maddox. And it looks like Tommy Gregg may be in the on-deck circle. So we may have seen the last of Greg Maddox, which is always good news. Then the pinch hitter, then Lofton. The first out, so critical. The pitch, Blauser swings and misses. One ball, two strikes. Sensing it now. Levon already with 11 strikeouts today. Now the 1 2 pitch. Swing and foul back. He's still humming it at about 92. This has been one of those great performances by a pitcher, and when you consider Levon Hernandez is a rookie, it really is monumental. The feet. He's accomplished today. One, two to Blauser. Oh, it just missed on the outside corner. Curveball just missed. CJ kept it right there, but it was to no avail. Two balls and two strikes. Just outside corner. Levon ready. Two, two pitch. Curveball just missed again. Where was that one? He has thrown two beautiful pitches to Blauser, but just off the corner. Now it's three balls and two strikes. Eric Gregg has not given Levon any breaks on this at bat. All three balls have been right there. Full count. Three, two to Blouser. Here it is. Strike three call. Levon Hernandez has a dozen strikeouts. One out of the eighth. And the Marlins five outs away. From going back to Georgia, the red clay, the Peach State, up 3-2, a game away from the World Series. And a child shall lead them. At least that's the way it looks now. Hernandez in seven and a third, 12 strikeouts in one of the most impressive pitching performances in league championship history up to this point. So Tommy Gregg now, the batter for Greg Maddox. Maddox went seven, allowed four hits and two runs, struck out nine. Curveball, just missed. One ball, no strikes. Gregg and then lofted in the eighth. Marlins five outs away. The pitch, strike on the outside corner. Hernandez seems to be getting stronger. That was a 90-mile-an-hour fastball with movement. And how about Kevin Brown? Levon in for KB. Here's the pitch. Low, ball two, two and one. Brown, who had to sit out four and five, in all likelihood, may be ready for game six. Two balls and a strike to Greg. The pitch. Swing, foul back, two and two, and the crowd gets up on its feet. Levon Hernandez, all 23 years of age, becoming an instant folk hero in this town, especially if they can close this deal out. 53,000 on their feet, looking for strikeout number 13. They would be lucky 13. Greg now steps out. Two and two. There are even some in the press area standing up. 2-2 two, two pitch, here it is. Swing it up as he struck him out. Greg didn't even get close. So in the eighth inning, forget about being tired, Levon has struck out the first two. Blauser and Greg in succession. And now Kenny Lofton. 13 strikeouts for Levon Hernandez in an epic performance. 
And here's Kenny Lofton. What a tremendous lift. Brown out for the game. Levon is called on. And he's carried the piano so far and is back to the eighth. Curveball outside of Lofton. One ball, no strikes. That was a 75-mile-an-hour curveball. Lofton in there again. 1-0 pitch. A little outside. Two balls, no strikes. You don't want to get Kenny Lofton on. That could be trouble. Lockhart to follow, and of course, then Chipper Jones. 2-0 to Lofton. Strike right down the middle. 2-1. Mm. Lofton on the first pitch of the game, triple down the line, was left stranded at third base as Hernandez struck out the side. And now a 2-1 count. The pitch just missed outside. Three balls and a strike to Kenny Lofton. The sun setting. And Levon rising. Strike two in the outside corner. And Kenny Lofton had thrown his bat already, was heading to first base, and Eric Gregg did not like that at all. Gregg took off his mask. You talk about upstaging an umpire, that was it. I don't think Lofton and Gregg are going to be going out to any cocktails after this one. Eric Gregg was disgusted with Lofton throwing the bat on that strike. Three and two, Levon looking to strike out the side in the eighth. The pitch, foul down the third baseline. Still stays at three and two. Levon Hernandez has been nothing less than incredible today. 13 strikeouts, and it seems he's getting stronger as the innings go by. We're in the eighth, and he's blown away Jeff Blauser and Tommy Gregg to reach strikeout number 13. Now looking for strikeout number 14. He's allowed but three hits, and he has outdueled the best pitcher possibly of this generation, Greg Maddox. Levon ready, the 3-2 pitch. Outside, he did walk him, and now Lofton does throw his bat. Kenny walks the first base. He's the tying run, and here comes Keith Lockhart. Third walk by Levon. This place was about to go nuts. But they're going to have to wait. Marlon Bullpen, Powell and Cook right now, basically, Standing on the pitcher's mound in the bullpen, looking at Levon. They are through warming up. So here's Keith Lockhart. Levon ready. Lofton on first to pitch. Curve ball to strike. What a beautiful pitch. 0 1. Lockhart in there again. No balls and a strike. Lofton off first. Levon goes back. By the way, the 22 strikeouts in this game, 9 by Maddox, 13 by Hernandez, a new National League Championship Series for most strikeouts combined by two teams. Levon ready on the pitch. That's high and outside. Looked like a pitch out. One ball, one strike. Chipper Jones to follow. You'd like to see him leading off the ninth. We'll see about that. Levon back over, keeping Kenny Lofton honest. Lockhart's had a great series. He's 4 for 10 in the series. 0 for 2 today, including a walk. Levon ready. And the 1-1 comes to Lockhart. Curve ball just missed. A little high, I guess. Two balls and a strike. Jones on deck. This is drama. NLCS game five, pivotal game. Levon Hernandez has been incredible up to this point. 13 strikeouts through seven and two-thirds. But he's got to get Keith Lockhart here. Levon ready. Eyes Kenny Lofton. And now the 2-1 pitch. Swing popped out of play. So we're 2-2. Two and two. And as has been his custom, Levon again another two-strike count. Two balls and two strikes. Against a very pesky Keith Lockhart.
Lockhart steps in, taps the play with his bat. Hernandez ready. He eyes CJ. 50,000 on their feet. Lofton on first base. Levon ready. The 2-2 pitch. Swing and foul back again. He's pesky, all right. He got a bat on that ball, and it was a good Hernandez pitch. Two balls, two strikes. Bobby Cox in the Braves bullpen. With reason to be nervous. His Braves are four outs away from being down 3-2. But with Atlanta, four outs is plenty. It's tough to get him. This is a great baseball team. A team who's been through the wars. Here comes Levon. Two balls, two strikes to Lockhart. And the pitch. Curve ball fouled the other way down the first baseline. And Lockhart has fouled off three in a row. Three very good pitches by Levon, by the way. He's up there hacking. He's been tough. Shadows over the infield and outfield. Two balls, two strikes. Hernandez, eyes Lofton again. Now steps back. You wouldn't think that Kenny's going anywhere here. He has not taken off as of yet. Two balls, two strikes. 2-1 Marlins in the bottom of the eighth. The pitch by Hernandez. Just missed. Lofton is going. The bow, he is. Out at second base. Kenny Lofton has been thrown up by the Sheriff Charles Johnson. It was a ball outside. Lofton was going, and C.J. gunned him down. Seven and a half in the books. Three outs to go for the Marlins. Florida 2. 